Hey there, I'm at Insomnia 57 Gaming Festival and I'm talking to Ian 8-Pack Parry. He's one of the top overclockers in the UK and the world and we're looking at his latest machine here, which is the Asteroid. Um, and you're just going to give us an overview of the machine uh, 8-Pack. So what, what is it about this machine that makes it different from your average gaming machine? Uh, basically the uh, brief with this machine was to uh, make as, as powerful a rig as possible but in the smallest possible footprint. Is that one of the challenges of having such a small PC that you can put two graphics cards in there so you've got to squeeze as much out as the one? Yeah, that's uh, everything in here we've tried to max out the hardware uh, within within the small space. So yeah, we, we could only fit one graphics card so we've taken the TI uh, and we've overclocked it to 1450 megahertz on the core uh, and uh, 1900 on the on the memory, uh, which is effectively almost 8,000 megahertz. Uh, the case is not uh, general. This particular case is not generally available. Uh, it's a modern Parvum case, which the guys at Parvum have really helped me with. Uh, it, obviously, it's not your usual aluminium case. This is made out of custom acrylic panels. Do you think people that buy this have kind of got VR on the brain and might want to upgrade it down the line when the headsets get more powerful? Oh, uh, well, of course, I mean, this uh, system is VR ready already. If you run the uh, benchmarks uh, for VR, it's, it's at the top VR spec available currently. Uh, and I tested it on the Vive and it's working great. So, uh, but yeah, as, as, as people move on, they might want to uh, uh, upgrade, the, upgrade the GPU uh, for, for you know, future resolutions, if you like. I bet people are thinking, can you make this type of PC any smaller? Uh, uh, of course it's possible, but, but uh, the, the, the idea also of this PC is to make it silent uh, and to, to shuffle away such heat with silence you need like a minimum of two, two 40 mil rad radiators yeah. which we have actually housed in the base of this unit. So yeah of course you can make it smaller, but when you make it smaller you need to spin the fans faster and it becomes more noisy. Uh, and that was the balance that we wanted to strike here. When this is not doing anything at all, the fans are almost actually not spinning at all in a lot of cases. It actually shuts off the fans entirely. So it's completely silent. When, uh, when you're running games, the fans are never running more than like 800 RPM. Yeah. Which you, you, cannot, you can really not hear on the desk next to you. So it's a, very, uh, it's a very silent system, which is what we wanted to do with this. With this. And then in our review of this, we found that it drops zero frames in their Steam's VR test. Um, is there any different ways of benchmarking to find out if one of your new, newer machines is, is ready for VR? How do you measure that? Well, well we, what we've been doing is the uh, standard Firestrike and Firestrike Extreme test. Yeah. Uh, and also the Steam, the Steam benchmark. At the minute, there's no, uh, there's no other real VR benchmarks available. Obviously, 3D Mark are going to bring a, a going to bring a test out very soon. It's future not, mark, yeah. Yeah, of course, which will which will do. And have you been testing this with any headsets, uh, any pre-developer versions that have come out? Uh, we tested with the Oculus, yeah. Yeah. With the, with the second development version. Uh, we've, we've tried that, and obviously we've tried with Vive now, which you've got at HQ. We've tried all the APAC systems, and they're all obviously completely fine, because the minimum spec on an APAC system is way above what, what's needed, really, to run VR. We've been here at Insomnia 57 Gaming Festival with APAC and his new machine, the Asteroid. Hit subscribe, leave us a comment below to let us know what you think and we will see you next time.